Allie is about ready to realize her dream. No pressure! <laughs> hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie, and ever since I watched Wayne's World as a kid, I wanted one of those licorice dispensers they have in their car. Well, I'm an adult now, and I can make the very mature decision to make that a reality. I even have a car that's totally mine and drives and looks normal. Look at this, I'm booking a flight. Kids can't do that. Traveling alone, because I don't need a chaperone. In my refined clothing that I designed. To meet my grown-up friends, Joel from 3D Printing Nerd and Bill from Punished Props. Hello. Hi. Can you guys help me make my childhood dreams come true? Absolutely. Heck yes. <laughs> we just did a video together where we made a beer. You mm -hmm. should go check that out Not too. the kind you're thinking yeah. of. <laughs> Needed a clear bowl to start this and I could not find it out in the world. Everything was too small or too big or the wrong shape. So I had a bunch of stuff mailed to Joel's house on my way here. Okay. It's so funny how little I am here and I keep talking about being a grown up. I think we're gonna go with this size. Also the best, it's the best shape too. This is supposed to be to put into a fence so your dog can go see the other side of the fence, I guess. And it's great too because it, it is a smaller bowl. So when we talk about 3D printing, smaller means less time to make. And uh, less volume of licorice, I'm gonna save calories. <laughs> there you go. I scienced for you, so now just, you know, print it. Yeah, it's pretty much done. Looks like there's something else there. Well, also, this would keep white. the licorice from making the, the roof sticky if we oh. had a base plate, right? Oh, yeah. The base plate can just get adhesived up there, and then you can oh. unscrew the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. dome. So I need to cut a whole circle out of uh, the, the felty headliner? stuff. Probably. Headliner, that's what it's called. I've never thought about what the ceiling of a car is made of before. I guess that seems screw into a bowl. I want to believe that the prop makers for Wayne's World did this exact process Right. <laughs> and we're just doing it again. Someone custom made this roller thing. Like that is not an off the shelf thing. It's so it's silly nice... that they put that detail in. It is a completely unnecessary. It could just be a hole, right? Right. Yeah. But that's what makes it awesome. Now he's designing this thing, which actually exists in the world. It's a knife switch. I did try to find a knife switch at my local hardware store before coming here and failed. The knife switch that I could not find in the real world, he just immediately made it exist in the digital world. Yeah, and we can print as many copies as we want. And he taught me how to do it, and if I can learn that quickly, you can too. Absolutely. In fact, glad you mentioned that, Allie. I have a course on the beginner steps of learning Fusion 360. I do it for modeling props. You can use it to model anything that you want to 3D print. It's actually $5 off right now. We'll jump on that. feels like unlocking a superpower, yeah. and now we're just playing God and making things yes. print. Check out the course at uh, punishprops.com. This is Joel's studio house place with um, so many things. We call it a office because it's a house <laughs> office. Office. Love it. This is my filament wall. Wow. I mean, it's really pretty. Yeah, a rainbow of potential. Okay, yeah. so this will be the base plate. The knife switch base is black. There's a generic black yeah. PLA. And then the knife parts are like a gold or a brass. Do you want gold or do you want brass? Whoa. This is gonna be the gold I have. This is my gloriously Whoa. golden dolphin. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Inputting parameters to make our sculpture. Hello, little robot friend. Thank you for making a thing for me. That's going. We got this guy going. Imagine having to wait for one to finish before starting another. Well, that is his studio, but oh wait, there's a kitchen and check this out. A tiny little Joel. Of course we got upstairs with, ooh, more printers. Two more rooms. Oh, yeah, he needed more space for his other printers. Super weird, you don't have a printer in the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> and another little Joel. This is so cool. He's got a ton of crazy things in here that he's printed. This is just a bucket of frogs. What? Yeah, he's got a 3D printed banana and it is squishy and crazy. Oh, and a life-size Joel. What are we doing? I'm adjusting the first layer. I backed it off just a little bit. Can I touch it? You should touch it. Ooh. Whoa, it almost got me. <laughs> just making our thoughts into realities. Reality in gold. And we got a fourth one going. Obviously you keep your cars in the garage. What? Right. More 3D Check it out. printers? Check it out. Whoa. Whoa. It's a big giant orc. This is making my modeling seem a little primitive. We'll get there. This is like the second lesson. Another mini Joel! Wait, what? Did uh, I just oh, break it? I have a solution. I feel like 3D printing is a lot of this, just hanging out. It really is. Waiting for stuff to finish. It's like a nerd campfire. 
Nice weather out today. Nice yesterday. Nice today. You wanna throw another log on the printer? <laughs> so this stuff is called 3D glue. Chemically, it welds the pieces together. There we go. Good. I'm so, so there glad we go. I came and destroyed something at your place and then it's back to okay. Yay! We're on to the vertical middle part. Look at it go! Uh, -oh. uh, it is very rough. You're being finicky. You think we could print that, just that column and goop it on? That's what I'm thinking. Problem keep, solving! Keep the bottom part. We can yeah, yeah. pack that off and just glue the new part right on there. Time to go! That was too easy. Yeah, I'm gonna cut that right off. And that's it. Boop. New piece. Wait, wait, look at this. <gasps> right? Bill, it's perfect. It is very satisfying to take a real word thing and match it with something you made in 3D. Yeah. Bill has stepped out because it's now our job to finish. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly because otherwise it'd just be him doing all the work. <laughs> so we have these bits of filament that are gonna act as the axles for these things. Ah! Look at that! How cool! I modeled that! And then we also have these things that get assembled as our homemade knife switch. Ooh! That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's good action right there. Yeah. Precisely equidistant from the bottom because my two thumbs are perfectly symmetrical. I've always said that's why I like you, Ellie. Your symmetrical <laughs> thumbs. <laughs> huh? I'm gonna nail it on the first try. Ah, yeah. Ah, ha, ha. No. How close? Not even anywhere near close. What? Make it bigger. You know, Bill, if you were not the cameraman, but actually doing this, it would be done like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Boom. It's in there. Break out the hot glue! Oh, it's coming together. That is precisely where Wayne has it. Ooh, 99%. Woohoo! Come here, Art! I'm a glooping master at this point. Perfectly centered. This stuff smells like I'm taking years off my life for Art. Could be. Three, two, one, go. Success! Yeah. Joel's turn to maybe screw this up. Don't shatter it. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. That's less than not bad. I mean... Yeah. It's great. Allie is about ready to realize her dream. No pressure! <laughs> Put the art together! And we screw it in. Oh yeah, that is going to work. Look at that! Yeah, it is. Now all I need is a very mature vehicle in which I can install it. Just need to grab the final ingredient. Uh oh. No super ropes here. Uh-oh, out of stock. Currently unavailable. Out of stock. There's even a superropes.com, which leads me to a dead purchase page. The only ones I can find are the short ropes, which are decidedly not super. I feel like the super ones were discontinued because 34 inches is entirely too large of a serving size. Evidenced by the fact that Amazon thinks I should use a rope to work out instead. I have an idea. See, snack size pieces. Reasonably serving size is not a childhood dream. Oh, I got really concerned. There were these little ones. I was like, no. Okay, good. Don't try this at home, kids. It's looking a little black. I just want to melt and not caramelize. Okay, now, please fuse. <laughs> it worked! I mean, it ain't pretty. Sometimes realizing your dreams is not perfect. Let me just make sure I get the precise 34 inches. Oh my goodness, that is long. <laughs> Now that is super. What a perfectly sensible way to spend an afternoon. I wish I could go back in time and tell kid me that this would be my career. There we go. It smells like if s'mores were red. Did you see what I made? It's weird. <laughs> it's super. Super weird. <laughs> Going right here, perfectly centered. Just drawn on the ceiling of my car. It's actually pretty cool looking. Anybody that wants me to do a pencil mural on the inside of your car, let me know. Anyway, focus, bags. This is the point of no return, fully committing to this adult decision. Okay. This sound is so satisfying. The sound of destroying the biggest, most expensive thing you own. Okay. Well, that's cool. All right, there's some foamy stuff up here. Feels like I could just shove it to the side. Yeah, that'll be good. Oh, uh, this is not good. The gap makes this not work. So I'm gonna need to find a spacer that is Precisely two fingers thick. This is left over from my 300 Starbucks card American flag. I went with this sloppy solution. Three layers of double stick tape because I needed just a little more height on the platform. Don't blow this placement. No, well, that's in there. Now if I'd have known I was mounting on a platform, I would have cut a smaller shape and then hidden this ugly edge. I can't take this perfect piece that Bill and Joel helped me make and then end it with this unfinished look. I'm really glad I never throw out anything. There, that'll do. It's so dumb how I get rewarded for being a hoarder. Just hot gluing my vehicle together. 
perfectly matched at the end. Yeah, that looks so much better. Pally's, this is the moment. It's coming true. My dream is hanging over my head. Oh my goodness. Man, my car is a sweet ride now. And now to test it out. Oh yeah, it rolls so nicely. I think I want this reasonable amount. Give it a little chop. Oh, that was perfect. Mmm. Yeah, this is the most satisfying candy I've ever had. It cuts so easily. Yes, just right off. <laughs> if you like this, you'll probably like seeing when Bill and I made a legendary bear deer that opens beer. I'll put that down there for you. That's incredible. Yeah, that works exactly how I thought it would. It's something I never say in my videos. <laughs> hey, Miss Pally, I'm Allie, and this is my attempt to create the most magnificent Aww. bachelor pad decoration ever. Stick with me here. I want to make it look like I slayed a bear and mounted its head, but it's a very exotic bear because it has deer antlers, because bear 